What's up guys, we are back with another weekly video. Just a reminder, we are planning to make a video on the top high school basketball recruits from each state for the class of 2021. So make sure you are subscribed and have your post notifications on. A couple months ago, we made two videos about the number one ranked football recruits from the 2000s and where they are now. In this video, we are actually gonna talk about one of the biggest busts in football from the 2000s, Mitch Mustang. We hope you enjoy and feel free to comment any ideas or feedback you have for us. Quarterback Mitch Mustang was number nine overall in the 2006 recruiting class. The only quarterback ranked higher than Mustang was Matt Stafford, who went number one overall in the draft. Mustang attended Springdale High School in Springdale, Arkansas, where he played both baseball and football. In 2004, as a junior in high school, Mustang completed 139 of his 222 pass attempts for 2,169 yards and 20 touchdowns. He threw just five interceptions and had 350 rushing yards as Mustang led his team to the Arkansas Class 5A semifinals. The next year, as a senior, Mustang threw for 3,817 yards and set an Arkansas Class 5A single season record with 47 touchdowns. Springdale went undefeated and they actually won the state title. In 2006, Mustang was the starting quarterback for the West team in the U.S. Army All-American Bowl in San Antonio, Texas, where he was awarded the Hall Trophy as National High School Player of the Year. Other winners of the Hall Trophy include Adrian Peterson, Chris Leak, and more recently, Trevor Lawrence. Parade named Mustang High School Player of the Year. He was also named the 2005 Gatorade National Player of the Year and the 2005 USA Today National Player of the Year. Mustang was even considered to be a better prospect than eventual Heisman winner Tim Tebow. And in honor of his achievements, the Springdale mayor declared December 6th to be Mitch Mustang Day. When Mustang's high school coach, Gus Malzahn, who's the current head coach for Auburn, was hired to be the offensive coordinator at the University of Arkansas, Mustang followed him. The 2006 season began with Arkansas against Southern California, and the game was not looking good three quarters in. With the score 44-7 in the fourth, with Arkansas down, just like the 70-17 blowout last year, head coach Houston Nutt decided to let Mustang and his former high school teammate Damian Williams have their collegiate start. Mustang himself scored the second and final Arkansas touchdown of the game, losing 50 to 14. After his first game, Nutt named Mustang a starting QB, accumulating an 8-0 record as a freshman. In a game against South Carolina, Mustang was relieved by sophomore Casey Dick after just a single interception, who copped a 26 to 20 win. Dick became the starting QB and Mustang did not play again until the final game of the season the SEC championship against the Florida Gators, where they lost 28 to 38. Mustang losing the starting job was very abrupt, not claiming it was experience that landed Dick the job, even with Mustang's prior 8-0 record. It became clear to Mustang that Gus Malzahn did not have enough play calling power. Arkansas had a stacked backfield with Darren McFadden, Peyton Hillis, and Felix Jones, all future NFL running backs. Because of this, Malzahn's offense was dominated by a strong running game and a lot of no-huddle offense. Malzahn even had to negate misconceptions about his offense as many believed the Razorbacks were going to start throwing more often. There was also some tension between Nutt and Malzahn, Nutt believing Malzahn was too invested in his former Springdale players, and even sparking rumors of Nutt stripping away play-calling duties from Malzahn. Then, when a book came out about Springdale's 2005 historic season, Mustang was quoted as being very critical of Nutt, not realizing that he would one day be his coach. There was no immediate backlash, but Mustang later heard that one mistake would cost him the starting position, as it evidently did when Dick got the job. Dick even lost their next three games as the starter, but Mustang was never looked to. At the same time, a few parents of former Springdale players and now Arkansas team members 
were complaining to athletic director Frank Broyles about how much control Mousen had over the offense, as their children had previously thrived under his coaching. Broyles explained that Mousen's offense was not going to work unless the quarterback ran the ball a certain number of times per game, basically pinning the success or failure of the offense on Mustang. Then, in December of 2006, an email from a booster solidified Mustang's decision to leave the Razorbacks. The email was sent directly to Mustang and contained a lot of derogatory messaging, including a homophobic slur and calling Mustang a cancer. The author of the email, Teresa Pruitt, was revealed to be a close friend of the Nutt family, alluding to the potential that Houston Nutt knew about the email and did nothing about it. On January 15, 2007, Gus Malzahn announced he was leaving the Arkansas Razorbacks to join the University of Tulsa. The day after this announcement, Mustang requested permission to transfer to the University of Southern California to play for Pete Carroll's Trojans, joining Damian Williams. During fall camp before the 2008 season, starting QB Mark Sanchez dislocated his left kneecap, leaving a potential opening for the starting job. Mustang and redshirt freshman Aaron Corp alternated starting in the preseason and battled for the starting job. Three weeks later, Sanchez was cleared for the season opener and Corp was selected as backup. However, throughout the season, Corp and Mustang rotated between the second spot. At the end of the 2008 season, Sanchez entered the NFL draft, leaving the starting position open for Mustang, Corp, and incoming freshman Matt Barkley. By the end of spring practices, Mustang was placed third behind the other QBs. Finally, after Corp transferred to Richmond, Carroll left to coach in the NFL, and Barkley was injured in the next to last game of the season, Mustang started for the first time in four years in the 2010 season, his last start being at Arkansas in 2006. It was the rivalry game against Notre Dame, and Mustang put up 21 for 38 passes for 183 yards, losing after a dropped pass and an interception 20 to 16. So how did this high school superstar become an unnoticed third string QB? Perhaps it was his chemistry with high school coach Gus Malzahn. Mustang was a starting powerhouse at Springdale and even gained the starting position as a freshman for a time at Arkansas but the Arkansas staff did very little to make Mustang feel welcome. He was benched after one interception early in the game and watched from the sidelines as his team lost three more in a row. The tension between Malzahn and Nutt made the creation of an efficient offense very difficult, and Mustang was verbally harassed by a booster and family friend to the Nutt family. Going to USC was supposed to be a fresh start for Mustang, but there was no erasing the pass and Mustang could never truly find his footing as he was thrust into collegiate football without a coach that really knew him for the first time. After all, Mustang and Malzahn had been side by side since Mustang's high school career. Mustang cannot completely be blamed for the position he found himself in though. Nutt recruited Malzahn and Mustang together, but never fully allowed Malzahn to work his magic. So Mustang went from a five-star recruit and the most sought after high school player to a no-name QB in a big program. Mustang began selling his ADHD medication illegally and was caught and arrested on February 1, 2011. Mustang never made it to the NFL. He attempted the Canadian Football League and got a 10-day free agent contract with the Hamilton Tiger Cats. Mustang couldn't impress the Tiger Cats though and was released after the contract ended. Mustang did make it to the Arena Football League where he played for the Georgia Force, the San Jose Sabercats, and the San Antonio Talons. While on the Sabercats, Mustang was the backup to legendary Arena Football League quarterback Aaron Garcia. After Garcia was traded, QB Russ Mishno was signed as the new starter, and Mustang was left as a backup again, eventually ending his AFL career. Mustang had a brief stint in minor league baseball, even after not pinching since high school. Mustang threw a 90 mile per hour fastball at a tryout in front of a White Sox scout in January 2012 and later reported to spring training. Mustang played with the Bristol White Sox and the Kannapolis Intimidators before he ended his baseball career. He pitched in 19 games and finished with a 4.63 ERA.
Currently, Mustang is focused on joining the Navy. There's actually a documentary about Mustang called The Identity Theft of Mitch Mustang. It is said to show the worst parts of college sports, like the pushing of agendas, the recruiting process, and meddling boosters. Mustang does not complain about his experience in college football, though. He just explains how for some people, football was their path. For Mustang, football wasn't his destiny, and the film dives into many other things Mustang has tried since his college days. You can watch the documentary free with Prime on Amazon. We hope you all enjoyed the video and make sure to like and subscribe. Let us know in the comments what you thought of the video. And if you want to hear more about the unknown superstars that did not manage to make it to the professional level. Also, click the link below and check out our merch. It was designed by our very own team and we appreciate any support we can get. Thanks again and be sure to check out our past videos and the new ones coming weekly. Stay safe.